Hey, Dr. Fred Domenico with Tuesday Morning Transformation on Halloween. I was going to wear my Yoda kind of sage looking outfit, but uh, didn't get back in, back home in time. So, so here we are in Newport Beach. Somebody did hit the fall button and we got a nice breeze out here and we're pretty excited because I'm really excited about what we're going to talk to you today and it's called Illusions Are Investments. This is straight from A Course in Miracle. Illusions Are Investments. And you're going, what the heck does that mean? Well, I'm going to tell you right now. So we already know we're spiritual beings and we are life force creative energy. That means whatever we focus on is what's created because we are life force creative energy. So when we look at illusions are investments. What's another word for humanity versus humanity and divinity? Well, another word for humanity is ego, right? Divinity is spirit. So let's look at ego. Ego doesn't necessarily mean egotistical. It doesn't necessarily mean cocky or arrogant or narcissistic. What it means is we are self-centered. What's that mean? We have a self-reference point, meaning we look at conditions outside of us and we react. We see someone that acts a certain way and we judge them. We, you know, someone else looks a certain way and we judge them. Something does something to us and we perceive pain. We say, you made me feel like this, right? That's a no responsibility statement. So we're reacting to conditions outside us because our limited mindset is our reference point. It's not divinity, it's in our mind, right? So now, now we have resentment and we have jealousy and we have all these things and our mind is like a container. You know, it's got 10% envy, it's got 15% jealousy, it's got 30% resentment. What am I up to? I'm not doing the math yet. You know, we have 50% we have pain and judgment from our past and now we project that onto our present. So we have this container and it's full of all these emotions. So how can we ever hear the voice of God? How can we listen to our name when we're full of these emotions and the minute something happens, whoa, I go to my 10% jealousy. Or that's familiar, I go to my pain and judgment. See, because it's known, that's where our mind works. When something happens, we automatically reference our self, limited mindset, all the emotions in the container. That's ego versus divinity. What's that? That's spirit famous uh, quote, Rick Sapio, business mentor, says people looking for happiness can't find it. Why? Because that's an outside in reference point. We're looking for something outside us to make us happy. Why? Because our container is full of stuff. Yet people following their purpose find fulfillment. Now why is that? Because people following that sole purpose, isn't this what Tuesday Transformation is all about? following their sole purpose, they get above those conditions. They get above the resentment. Yes, you may, we're human, we may experience jealousy, but we have a spiritual reference point. We say, whoa, what, what am I experiencing? When that container is emptier, we have a slight reference point. You know, it says, oh, that reminds me of what used to be in my container. Because it's already known. Then I can say, okay, what's my perception? To be able to stop in the moment, become, become conscious of those emotions. But when that container is clear, then I can have a higher consciousness reference point and say, okay, this is what I'm experiencing. Maybe they didn't intend it that way. Maybe it's just me projecting. See, ego projects. What's that mean? I take an emotion and I place it on another person. And I believe that's your intention and it comes back to me. Well, if whatever we give, we experience. The more that I judge, what do I experience? Judgment. So I'm filling that container. The more that I'm jealous, what am I putting in the container? Jealousy, the more that I have envy, what am I putting in the container? Envy. See, the more that I have love, what am I putting in the container? God, I'm putting in love, unconditional love. So to be able to stop in a moment, vertical time of presence, we went through that a few weeks ago, and to be able to say, what is the emotion that I'm experiencing? Is that really true? Or is it an illusion? See, when you come from a spiritual reference point, you realize every person is on their own soul journey. So if someone does something that may not be the highest, from the highest consciousness, that's their thing, it's not your thing. So we don't project, what we do is we extend. Spirit extends. That means we can see that person is having their own moment. And what do I do? I extend love. Extension is spirit. Projection 
is ego. When I project meaning versus extension is always love coming from the inside out. So whatever we give, we experience. Now, how do you get to that point? Well, we talked about this a couple weeks ago. Surrendering. What's surrendering mean? Surrendering isn't giving up like quitting. It's giving up like releasing. It's emptying the container, coming back to a spiritual reference point to be able to say, God, there's certain things I can control and hopefully we can manage our emotions in that moment. Come back to that state. Maybe we get upset, but we realize this is a human experience. I can get back to a divine consciousness. I can change my perspective. I can release that emotion. I can get back to love. And here we are. And all of a sudden, it's more than just seeking happiness. Now it's fulfillment. Why? Because that's our sole purpose. So let's do a little exercise. So what do we do? We have an experience. We may get caught up in the moment, then that, but then we come into conscious, we release it, we surrender, we give it to God, we get back into love. So when you're in that moment, step one, breathe. Whoa, take a breath. Why? Because breath changes your mind from focus of pain and emotion and judgment into focusing on your breath. So what's do? Quiets the noise. It's like a pattern interruption. Breath is a spiritual pattern interruption. See that? That clap right there. First, breathe then realize I'm investing, I just invested time, energy, and emotion into an illusion. So I can take that back in a sense, take responsibility and say, how can I look at this from a different perspective? So when I breathe, then I realize I'm getting into my divinity. I feel love in my body. Then you feel love in your body and you fill your body with it. Then you can assign a new meaning. When you fill your body with love, then extend that to that person then extend love and now all of a sudden emotions can calm down you can get past that moment right and then when we're blessed then we can be a blessing to others so we get in that place of love we fill our body with it we feel it in ourselves and then we see it in others now that we feel blessed now your next action is to be a blessing and sometimes that's just a hug Sometimes it's a kiss, sometimes it's an I love you, sometimes it's just walking away, sometimes it's going to sleep, sometimes it's just being by yourself, or sometimes it's just stop talking and breathing. So whatever that is for that moment for you, that's the difference between ego and spirit, and that's why illusions are investments. So rather than invest in the container of all these emotions, let's invest in love, Let's empty our container, surrender it all, give it all away, release it, and then let's start depositing love. Let's start depositing peace. Let's start depositing empowered action. And let's live our life toward our soul purpose from that state. Thanks. Happy holidays.